Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Swartz. In today's Ninja Trader tutorial series, I'm gonna share with you guys how to semi-automate your entries. Yes, that means if you wanna short the market, if you wanna buy the market, I'm gonna show you how to semi-automate it with zero programming skills needed. There won't be a lick of programming needed. One thing that you will need to do is know how to apply an indicator to your chart. And if you don't know how to do that, there's a third video in the playlist titled how to set up a day trading chart. You can find that playlist either in the top right hand corner of your screen with a YouTube um, card or it, can, or it can be found in the description box down below where it says Ninja Trader 8 tutorial series, something along those lines. You can click on that and it'll take you to the playlist if you're not already in the playlist. And again, that video is the third video in the series. So for this video, I've inserted the, the playback. I've already downloaded the data for today for playback. And I went ahead and just basically put up a basic um, 10 period move and average. And what I wanna share with you guys is, I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting play. And this is one of the features I love about NinjaTrader is the playback feature. And I have a video about that in the in the video series as well. And you guys can you know feel free to check that out so you can learn how to download the data and all that fun stuff. But in today, here's what we can do. So in playback, I can essentially buy the market, sell the market, sell the market, like short the market. And if the market goes down, I can get out and ooh, lost $150. However, here's the beautiful thing about it. I really didn't lose anything. I just wind this thing back just a, a few more clicks, let it restart, and essentially my balance should go back to zero or so I hope, right? Because all this is is phony money. But what, what this is actually good for is teaching you how to trade. Well, what if we wanted to short the market at the 10 period moving average. Well, one of the things we can do is simply right click up here, put sell limit. Now you can see right there, the order is way up there, nowhere near the moving average. Well, there's a couple ways we can do that. If I hold down control and click on my order, you'll see where it says attach. Now I'm gonna click right here where it says attach and it says right here, SMA 10 period. And I can offset this either, you know, front run it by a tick or 10 ticks, however, however many, or, you know, minus that many ticks. So it can either be in front of the moving average or on the other side of it by however many ticks that you would like. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna click okay and I'm gonna hit play. Now you can see the indicator or the order is set right where the indicator is, but hopefully as the, as the market moves and you see the indicator move, you'll also see the order move along with this. So we just gotta go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Wait for, you know, up oh, there you go. You see the order just basically fell right down and mimicked right where the moving average is. See, it moved down once again. Now here's gonna be the downfall in terms of if I wanted to enter the market in this manner. And let's see if we can actually get into the trade here. I know today was a very negative day, so I'm not sure we're going to touch it. All right, there we go. We touched the 10 period moving average. Now here's the downside. I don't have a stop or target in place. However, I have a solution for that as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply close out that order. I'm going to come right over here to one of my ATMs and you guys, again, there's videos in the playlist that show you guys how to set up an ATM, what it is and all that fun stuff. But essentially an ATM will put out a bracket order. So you have a take profit, a stop loss, and you can have it where the ATM will actually move the order for you. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm going to sell the market once again and just simply click sell limit. I'm going to hold down the control button, click on the order right here. Then it brings up this attach. Then I'm going to simply, you have to hold control down. If you don't, the order moves like this. So again, hold control down, click on attach and keep control held down, click it again. And then it says attach to this moving average. Now let's say I want to front run it, right? And I'm going to front run it by, let's say five ticks. Okay. I'm going to hit okay. Now you can see it's five ticks in front of the moving average. Now, what if I wanted it five ticks on the other side. Well, I'm, again, I'm gonna click on the order, holding down control, keep control held down. And okay, let's see there. Now I'm gonna attach it to here and I'm gonna put plus, oh, we'll go plus, plus 20. Click okay. Now you can see it's 20 ticks above the moving average. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this once again. And I'm gonna hold down control, click the order, click attach, and I'm just gonna leave it at the normal offset. I'm gonna click okay. Now I have the ATM selected. Now, as we go ahead and we fast forward through, you'll see that essentially what'll happen is once the market 
you know, will come up here and touch the moving average. Boom. Now we're in a position. And the beautiful thing is we have a stop loss in place. We have our take profit in place. So if you're an, if you're a trader that likes to trade based off indicators that are on the price chart, this is an awesome way. Now this would work with, let's say, um, Bollinger Bands, um, Keltner Channels, moving averages, any any indicator that's you know falling price on the price scale, not one of the subgraphs this will work for and this is one way that you can essentially say hey as soon as the market touches the moving average i want to be involved in the market because let's be honest our human instinct is not nearly as fast or our human you know reaction time is not nearly as fast as what the computer can execute all right now let's look at an indicator that's a little bit more complicated than a simple moving average a simple moving average only had one line well what if we wanted to you know essentially by the market if it broke the lower band or or you know one of these other levels the upper band the middle band or the lower band well it's very easy let's say i want to buy the market anytime it touches the lower band or it goes a little bit below it for that case i would simply um right click on the chart put buy limit attach it down there now i'm going to hold down control as i hold control you can see it's trying to automatically attach it to a lower line there. If I move my cursor up, it's going to try to attach it to the middle line. And if I hold it up one more time, it's going to try to attach it to that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at the lower line. I'm still holding down the control key. I'm going to click on the attach. Now, if I go right here, we can see where it's attaching it to the lower band and I can offset it to where it will be minus five ticks. So now it's essentially going to be five ticks below the band and I can just simply hit play. Now the market should melt down. I don't know if it's going to go back below the band or not. I didn't check this out. You can see the, our order actually keeps moving further away from price. I don't know how long this is going to take to see if price will actually make it to our order. But if you're a trader that likes to play extremes on, let's say the Bollinger bands or any other bands, you should be able to attach your indicator or your order to the chart. And again, I could also have an order right up here to sell the market if the market you know, got either close to the upper band or I made it where it actually had to pierce through the band and we could also attach it to the middle line as well. There we go, so we're in the trade, bam, we got stopped out, all right? So our idea, we wanted to get long if we touched the band. Well, we did touch the band, we got in and we got stopped out that quick. Obviously the market's in a downtrend, but again, you know, if that's your trading style, then you know that is perfectly you know suitable where it's a suitable way to enter the market and again you, you got to know what your trading strategy is but it's a way to where you can attach the order so think about this if you have a full-time job right you can simply say all right i want to sell the market maybe you want to sell if it comes all the way back up to this middle line right here right and you're like okay boss isn't looking all right we're gonna hit sell limit i'm gonna hit control and then we go ahead and I'm going to bring this down right there, attach it. I already have the ATM turned on and this says the middle band. Yes. Thank you. Go. All right. Whoo. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. Boss man won't see it. And I know if the market comes back and touches that line, how I will be involved in the trade. All right. And I don't have to sit there and monitor it. So if you're at work and you have very limited time, but you have an indicator that you like to enter the market on, this is a great way to essentially let the computer, you know, trail down your order until it's hit. And then, you know, you'll either be in or you won't. There we go. We're in on that trade. Let's see if this trade will actually make money. I doubt it will. Um, again, I don't know. The stops are really um, calibrated for this type of strategy, but let's see. Can we hit take profit or not and give us a 50% win loss ratio? Let's see. Can we do it? I know today was very, very weak out there. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more of a dip. I'm hoping I don't get stopped out. And again, all right, there we go. So two trades, we made $987, all phony money. And here's the best thing about it. If you want to, you know, use playback, it's an awesome way to work on your strategy, work on, you know, learning how to maneuver orders around. Because here's the thing, if this was minus a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand dollars, it wouldn't matter. As soon as I move this little cursor over a little bit to rewind, the the playback data will reload from our earlier time in the chart. And essentially we should see that balance, all that money I just made, 
poof, up in thin air. But it's like that on the flip side too. If you just lost a bunch of money in playback, it's not real, it's phony money, and it goes away. If you wanna learn more about how to use you know, the ATM strategies or even playback, both of those videos can be found in the Ninja Trader 8 tutorial series, series playlist and again that can be found either in the description box down below or in the top right hand corner of your screen like always hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a big thumbs up till next time good luck and good trading